I've just come out on my new mountain bike, the Sonder Transmitter SX, and I thought I'd do a quick look at a quick video doing a look at this uh, bike. Now you'll notice I'm calling this a look at the Sonder Transmitter rather than a review. This is the first mountain bike that I've ridden or bought in years, so I'm absolutely no expert and I've got no right to uh, compare it against other products in the market simply because I haven't ridden them. So I'm just going to do a quick overview of it. When I was shopping for this bike, I found there wasn't too much information freely available online. Uh, and sometimes the online stock images aren't that good. So this is just a slightly more close up in detail look at this bike. And I hope it's helpful to anyone who's, who's maybe considering getting one. So this is the Sonder Transmitter. This is a large version. The frame size is large and it's chilly red. The group set is SRAM SX, so it's the, it's the basic version in the range. Uh, I know they do slightly more expensive versions. This retailed at £999, which for me is more than enough for a mountain bike, the sort of usage that I'm going to get out of it. I've had it about a week, I've ridden it three or four times, I've got to say, overall, I'm extremely impressed. I'll start at the front. One thing that brought me into buying this bike was, when I was spending that kind of money, I was having a look at the market. And the value for money on this Sonder was brilliant compared to other things. I was looking at some of the more mainstream kind of brands, high street sort of bike brands, and I found that for about the thousand pound mark, you simply couldn't get this RockShox fork, the SRAM group set uh, for this sort of money. So that's what's tempted me towards it. There was another bike I was looking at similarly. Um, but I went for the Sonder in the end because I ordered this towards the end of May 2020, which of course was the height of bicycle ordering uh, here in the UK due to the, uh, the surge in cycling during lockdown, etc, etc. So it was quite hard to get hold of a bike at that time. This one took four weeks to arrive, which was absolutely fine. Um, Outkit, the, the company that runs Sonder, were very open and honest about the delivery times on it, and it turned up pretty much on time according to, to what they promised. First impressions of the bike when I got it out of the box, and hopefully you've just seen the, the uh, unboxing, is the size of these wheels. It's, it's quite hard to sort of do them justice, these uh, WTB Vigilante. They're 2.7 inch tyres, and they're absolutely massive. I forgot to bring a tape measure with me. Um, but they're absolutely huge, really big, thick, knobby tyres. No doubt fantastic in thick, gloopy mud conditions. If you're going to be doing a lot of road riding, long distances cross-country style riding obviously there's a huge amount of rolling resistance on these wheels on these tires so you're going to find it hard work obviously you could you could change to different tires i'm considering doing that myself changing to some tires with perhaps slightly less tread on them just to make riding longer distances a little bit more comfortable but if you do a lot of bike trails downhilling even anything like that uh, these wheels and these tires are absolute monsters Another thing I noticed fair, fairly early on is the through axle is not quick release on this bike. It requires an Allen key, which you can see there, which is absolutely no problem as long as you've remembered to bring your multi-tool with you or an Allen key set with you. It's not got quick release wheels front or rear. I'm guessing that's just a money saving thing. It's not caused me any, any issues so far. Just a question of always making sure you've got the right tools with you when you're out riding. So yeah, the RockShox fork's absolutely brilliant. And again, when I was looking at other bikes on the market, you couldn't always get forks as good as these. Um, 100 mil travel, I think, if I'm wrong, I'll, I'll put a comment below, but I'm pretty sure they're 100 mil travel. Good brand RockShox, been around years. Uh, I'm sure you're aware of them. So yeah, fantastic uh, forks. The rest of the components, um, now you can see it there, love mud. So the bars, the stem, the grips obviously, the seat post uh, are either Love Mud or um, actual Sonder, Sonder themselves. You can see the Sonder logo there on the saddle. Now the seat post has got a quick release clamp on for, for easy uh, lowering of the seat whilst you're out on the trails. And the rest of the components are SRAM, is the SRAM SX group set. So just a single ring on the front, a small ring on the front, uh, and then um, 12 rings on the back, it's giving you versatility. The gears are a little bit 
clicky if that's the right word to use they do skip quite a lot now as I say I've only had this bike a week I've only probably ridden it you know 50 to 60 miles so there's still a certain period of bedding in meshing between the chain and the cassette to happen it hasn't that has improved a little bit uh, with riding but I did notice out of the box the gears were quite skippy it's not caused me any serious issues it's still a completely comfortable bike to ride quite nice detailing on the frame show you that a little bit closer up the Sonder logo there and then the reference to Alp kit uh, and then the frame number so the sort of geometry of this bike is this I think they call them kind of a slack angles you can see the the top bar there it's 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 got quite a steep descent on it so it makes it quite a comfortable bike to ride it's not really a cross-country machine it's a more kind of a trail sort of uh, whipping around kind of bike but very comfortable to ride it's not light it's got an alloy frame but for this price point I don't think you get too many seriously lightweight bikes um, it's not something I'd want to do all day riding on it's not something I'd want to do six hours out on the trail in it is really something, something you kind of do your 20 milers on um, bashing around that kind of thing uh, I'll include some footage of the bike in action Sorry it's not ridden by anybody who's any good, it's just me. But if, if you have got any questions, anything else you'd like to see about this bike, please let me know, please comment below, and I'll do my best to get that online. But yeah, a brilliant bike from Sonda. I'm really impressed with it for the price point. Um, a lot of fun, uh, you know, really versatile bike, a lot of fun. Easy to ride, comfortable to ride. Once you get used to those big wheels, if you're not already used to them, plus the weight of it, but other than that, really well designed, really well built. I think it looks great. I love this chili red. I'm not so keen on the yellow writing, but that's that's just me. Um, I think the I think the red's really good. It stands out. Um, yeah, brilliant bike.